my channel. Today I woke up and chose complete chaos. Today I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna dye my hair back to red velvet. Why? Absolutely no explanation, no reason. Because that is how I choose to live. On the edge and impulsively. <laughs> I am ready. If you guys have seen my um, red velvet uh, hair dye tutorial from many years ago, you guys saw that I recommended high color highlights, which is what I got again because it never failed me then. And I also picked up some bond sustainer. Um, I wanted to try this out. It looks like a nice vampy like red. Um, so I'm gonna be doing the high color with the bond sustainer here and seeing what kind of uh, red tone I can accomplish in a single day. <laughs> Before we get started, let's go ahead and do a little lunch break because I'm starving and luckily this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. So HelloFresh is America's number one meal kit where you get delivered recipes and fresh pre-measured ingredients to create amazing dishes. If you don't have the time or simply don't like grocery shopping like I do, if you want to learn new recipes or just learn how to cook better, definitely try out HelloFresh. HelloFresh also makes healthy eating very simple. They offer low calorie, low carb, vegetarian and pescatarian options. And not only are you saving the trip to the grocery store, which can take up to 45 minutes, they also have really quick and easy recipes that you can do under 20. Most of their packaging is actually recyclable or made out of recycled content already. And on top of that, they do have the options to customize it based on your lifestyle. You can pick your delivery dates if you want to skip a certain week and your food preferences are completely your choice. HelloFresh has also donated over 4 million meals in 2020, which is super awesome. I personally love how easy and delicious their meals are, and so will you, so be sure to go to HelloFresh.com and use my code JessicaVille12 to get 12 free meals, including free shipping. I'm excited! Ugh, I love the red hair on you. It just, it's a f***ing moment. It's just a moment. I'm stoked. Honestly, super nervous to go back to Red Velvet. Um, the only reason why I changed it was because of acting. The Red Velvet was just not gonna get me cast for anything. Then I realized I'm not doing acting no more, so I can have my Red Velvet hair back again. I have always missed it ever since I got rid of it, and I know a lot of you guys have been wanting me to go back to Red Velvet hair for a very, very long time. I still get comments to this day, despite me not having red hair for I think four years, no. I think three years now, four years, I'm not quite sure. Um, I still get comments daily to change my hair back to red, so <laughs> um, you miss it, I miss it. Why not bring it back, especially since I'm doing more directing work than acting work. Now is the perfect time, so let's do it. I made it brighter just to play it safe because my hair is pretty dark and I do have um, a darker brown hair dye in it and I don't know how it's going to react with a true dark red so I'm going to go light red first. I just want to make sure it doesn't come out really muddy looking which can happen sometimes um, so it's better to be safe than sorry. We're going to go bright and if I need to I'll dull it down. Okay, let's do it. So honestly, I have no strategy to it. I just do that. And we're gonna do the other side. And it is giving me such a nostalgia right now. So funny though, all my friends have been telling me like, why did you change your hair back? You should have left it red. Like they've been telling me this for years. You guys have been telling this to me for years. Um, and I've been telling myself that for years as well. I never wanted to change it. I just had to. And now I don't have to. I can have it now and it's exciting. So I'm gonna leave this on for about an hour. Um, I'm just gonna watch it 
This does have a little bit of a bleaching agent inside of it, so I do need to be careful with my highlights. Um, but it'll be totally fine. It's gonna look great. what the back looks like. My hair is a tiny bit frizzy, so ignore that, but I think it turned out pretty good. Yeah, it's perfect. I feel like I left and came back. Like I've been gone this entire time and now I'm back again. And it is tripping me out. <laughs> Anyway, that is the end of this video. I just wanted to show you guys me changing my hair color back to the OG color. I mean, technically my OG color was light pink for those who like followed from way back when. I actually started YouTube with baby pink hair, but I really soon changed it to red and it stuck for a very long time. Um, so this is kind of like what I associate as like my OG look. So I'm really excited with how it came out. I'm excited to have it again. I feel a thousand times better already and a thousand times more like myself. So I'm really excited. I love it so much. I hope you guys love it too. I'm gonna leave it red for as long as I can, forever. I don't want to change it ever again now. Um, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure and stay tuned for a lot of vintage and princess content coming soon on my channel. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, that way I can see you in my next video.